Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome back to another video. So Kathy recently got to go up to Denver. This has actually happened on Thursday, which if you guys know, we have a live show on Thursdays. Kathy abandoned us <laughs> and I did the show all by myself. Thank you so much for everyone who showed up. I appreciate your support. Uh, but yeah, Kathy got to go sourcing and he found some cool stuff. We got to hang out with some friends. Yeah, it was a good time. I was there. Well, I got there a little late because Denver traffic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I was there about two and a half hours or so. And then we went to Texas Roadhouse, which was really fun. And so she did not bring me any rolls. I did not. We already <laughs> stayed like 30, 40 minutes past their closing, so I felt like a big jerk already. <laughs> uh, okay, so everything you're going to see here. Mm. Hey, <laughs> Reese. At least he's not jumping off. Can you lay down? <laughs> he's just like pretending to sniff around. You don't have any clubs. You know this. Good boy. <laughs> Gotta lay down, Bubba. We'll get you something after. The total here on the receipt was seventy four ninety seven. Although that included like, I can have Chris put a picture. I had like three blankets, like fairly large ones, and those were linen pricing. So those are six eighty six of the seventy four. Okay. So around sixty eight dollars or so, I would say, is everything you're gonna see here. Yeah, I kind of already forgot what I got. So let's <laughs> see. Oh, Kristen had a real squirrel gave me this. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I thought that was so it, cute. Is that Simpsons or something? No, it it's just kind of looks like... It's funny somebody there was like, that looks like a Simpsons. Yeah, it looks like thing. Simpsons art. Right. I, I guess the TV, it's, maybe. Yeah, it's not like a brand or anything. It looks like just, a, you know, probably like a boutique type Okay. Thing. But it's super cute, especially considering we're resellers. And yeah. Love yard ceiling. So, yeah, I don't know. Figured I could throw that up for $25, $30 maybe and see what happens. That's cool. Cute. Thanks, medium. Kristen. <laughs> yeah. She gave me some other stuff in here too. When we go to the bin, she's usually like looking for flannels and stuff. She does this big thing in the fall where she takes like hundreds, maybe even a thousand flannels and just sells them off at this big event. So, oh. yeah. Who's this? Marvin the Martian, Marvin right? Marvin the Martian. Yeah, at the end, the line was so long. So they close at eight. I feel like in Colorado Springs, they don't let you like. Like, if they close at 8, they're like, 7.30, get your butt in line and <laughs> check out. But here, you know, they close at 8. We were, like, looking through stuff until, like, 7.59. Then got in line, and then I was still trying to pick through, just, like, as I'm in <laughs> yeah. line, like, kind of picking the end bins. A line shopping. Um, yeah, and, like, this was in there, so I was like, it's not going to cost really anything. I'll just throw it in. Probably can get 10 bucks or something for that. Yeah. Indubitably. This was, this was actually something I found as I was waiting in line, which is probably a good thing. That's like a Timberland down jacket. Oh, yeah. So really nice puffer. I mean, it's dusty. I'm going to all wash it, but it seems to be in really good shape. All the zippers and buttons are good. It just needs a little wash. So, I don't know. I figured I could probably get 40 or 50 for that. Yeah. I mean, for the bins, right? Anyways, yeah. Uh, so, it's not like, you know, down jackets aren't super heavy. This is probably less than two pounds. Oh, uh, what does it say? Yeah, so it's $1.69 a pound. The linens are 49 cents a pound. All the linens that I bought were just for ourselves anyway. Oh, this was, I don't know what this is, like this brand. That's what it says on the tag. I was just like, oh, that looks like an interesting tag. Let me look it Deus up. Deus Ex Machina? Yeah. Or Machina? I don't really know what it is, but uh, I mean, I think I can get like 50 bucks for this jacket. So, yeah. yeah. What is it? I, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, that's the brand name. I don't know. I mean, like, what kind of jacket is it? Like, I turn mean, around? It almost looks like a bomber or something. Yeah? Oh, is that a bomber? I don't know. I it's don't cool. Know. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the style was interesting, too, so I was like, I'll look it up. It's got, like, a drawstring on the waist. Okay. Yeah. Uh, these are just some Tor jeans. Tor jeans, usually easy. Usually an easy 20 bucks, so. 20 to 30. Yeah, stuff like this. It's hard to leave. I was trying to be picky. I did throw a lot of stuff back towards the end, but little Nike men's running shorts are an easy $20. These basically weigh like four ounces probably, so. Yeah. 50 cents in a 20 all day. Couldn't leave it. I don't think I've ever sold this brand, lol. Um, but yeah, it was just like a nice, like an athletic full zip. Okay. I don't know, some comps were pretty low, but then others were like 30 something. So I don't know, I'll see what happens. I figured a full zip couldn't go wrong. I'm sure I can get at least 20 out of that. Look at this guy. <laughs> it's just like, please don't forget about me. <laughs> uh, this is, I'm pretty sure it's legendary whitetails. 
which is normally like the flannels and like the shackets that I would sell. Yeah. I don't really know what this is. I tried to Google lens it and wasn't coming up with much. When I like, is it padded? It's padded in the shoulders, like these... in the chest, the yeah, and the arms. But yeah, so I just like was looking up legendary whitetails padded shirt. See, somebody said like hunting shirt, but like I don't. With pads? I, mean, hmm. I guess if you're like shooting or something. I don't know. Is only one shoulder though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, both it could the be. Shoulders have pads, the back has a big pad. I don't oh. know how that would be useful. For yeah, me, I don't know. But I don't know. Let me know Anybody out there know? <laughs> I'll figure out what it is before I list it, but like I saw some comps, I feel like for like, close to $30 for something yeah. like that. Uh, this I just thought was nice. I don't usually pick up H&M, but this is like a nice corduroy jacket, quote lined. Yeah, just H&M. Nice. It's a nice jacket. It's nice. That's, that is very nice. I'm like surprised. <laughs> this has all bin stuff. I'm surprised. This is all good, high quality yeah, stuff. I feel like I found a lot of good stuff. The, oh, the bins up there seems to be a lot better than the one we have down here yeah. for sure. Uh, Liz gave me this. She um, oh, has Colorado cool. Reborn on Instagram and everything. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was. I might keep this for myself. If not, maybe ten, fifteen dollars. It's just a Colorado fanny pack by B Fresh. Okay, came with a free pen. Free pen. Not free. I've the weight level. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's probably nothing at all. Overpriced pen. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> I guess it might be a free pen. It was probably pretty late. Uh, this was one of those things I found at the very end, too. Just a little nightmare before Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I can get 10, 15 bucks out of that. I might try this on. It's just a Columbia tank. If it doesn't fit me or I don't want it, I will probably list it for $15 or something. Yeah, just Columbia. What is that little picture? Just It's almost like, what are those flowers that you like blow? Like a dandelion? That's what I thought it was. Maybe not, just flowers. All I know is I need some shirts to wear this summer, so that might work. Uh, this I bought for our kids. Just a little Nike drawstring bag. A full set of Hannah Anderson jeans. <laughs> little apples? Yeah. It's a girl's size 14. How often do I find a full set at the bins? Very, Were they next to each other? Yeah. Okay. Very unlikely for me. I found lots of Hannah at the bins. It's always just one piece. So I'm trying to get 25 or so out of that. Uh, oh, this looks nice. I just like. So is this. It's, Tipsy elves? No, it's no? not. Yeah, it's just like probably a Walmart holiday time, but it's a 2X and it's in really good shape. I thought it was cute. The <laughs> pocket here, so. Um, these are just like easy 20 bucks at Christmas time. I normally like list anything all year, but I, I'll probably wait talk late October or November to list oh, that. Oh, the, the present that he's holding is a pocket? Yeah. <laughs> See, that'd be cool. You just like stock it up with some with gift your... cards and like go and just start. You just like put your beer in there. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around the Christmas party. Ah. Like Santa's got a present for you. Here's a here's a five dollar gift card. <laughs> These are the shoes Kristen gave me. There's some BOC, really good shape. Nice. These basically look new. Yeah, little booty. Real not leather <laughs> fabric upper, but yeah, they're and nice. This was part of Sarah Styles. Uh, group up there, right? Like the yeah. There's like a Denver meetup that meets once a month. Uh, we had only been the one time. Yeah. We went up with the list, when the list perfectly people were here. Yeah. They were. They went to the meeting, so we just went to it too. Yeah. Unfortunately, That's, it goes on while we do our live shows on Thursdays. Right, plus, our kids have school generally, and yeah. Even if they don't, they don't have babysitters. So. But if you're in the Denver area, I mean, check the down on the description. I'll I'll give you guys to Sarah Sarah Styles. And uh, yeah. yeah, there's a Facebook page that has all the info anytime they're doing anything. So, yeah. yeah, it's a great resource. We had a great time when we were there and we learned some stuff. So awesome. Yeah. And then Kristen gave me these Vince Camuto little booties. So super cute. I'm sure these are each at least 20 bucks plus shipping, maybe up to 30. This I got, but I'm pretty sure somebody ran their card over it. Oh. It's okay. It's J. Crew, and it was new with tag. I mean, it's still new with tag, but I feel like it has dust all over it now. So I might try to put it in the dryer and see if that dust fluff will it out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you could do that and keep the tag on it. You know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it. this is men's, but honestly, I was like, I might, I might keep this. I love like oversized hoodies. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Worst case, I'll keep it. Has like a campfire hoodie for the summer, but if not, the new with tag J. Crew men's hoodie. It's really nice. It's really thick. Has pockets. 
I'm sure if I can clean it up a little more, <laughs> I can get at least $30 for that. Okay. This is just Old Navy. I just like this color in the fall, so. Uh, Mustard? Probably, yeah, 15, 20 bucks or so. No, okay, that's just a fuss. I was like, that's not my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah. So Old Navy, size XL, popcorn sweater. Is that what it's called? I was going to ask, right. what's that pattern? I think that's what it's called. Popcorn? That's what I call it. <laughs> now I want popcorn. <laughs> I found this Patagonia like within the first couple of minutes of being there. Patagonia is like, it's like my one like wow. secret thing. My, if I go to the bins, I, I just always have to find it. It's not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's your, you know your, I mean? it's like, your superpower okay. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to find Patagonia at the bins. It's, it's in bad shape. Like, as in it's like super pilly. I need to yeah. clean it up or just list it pretty low, but... Hey, it's Patagonia at the bins. Yeah, so. I mean, Patagonia has that that program that we've never actually done yet. I still but want to do that so bad. Yeah. I still have some pieces in the closet. You can that. send in some damaged stuff, and they can either repair it or do they give you credit or something like that? What's yeah, the program? Yeah, they give you a gift card that you yeah. can just buy something new from their site. So, yeah, I would definitely grab any Patagonia at the bins, even if it's super yeah. destroyed. I mean, this, even in this condition, would still sell for... I'm just dropping all the fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I could still get like 30 bucks out of this at least, but. Yeah, well, looks good from here. Yeah, <laughs> it's not horrible, it's just pilly. Yeah. Uh, this is the brand Diesel, which is expensive, but these look pretty like an old old style. Um, Some pocket detail. Yeah, so Diesel, this is like the, the inner tag. It just looks all fancy. Mm. So, I don't know what I'm gonna sell these for, but. I mean, I've sold a different pair. I want to say for like 50, but these are not going to go for that much, I'm sure. I don't know. Okay. Maybe 20 bucks out. <laughs> uh, do I buy this for me? I'm not about this for me. It's just a Target Massimo sweater. New with tag. Cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> uh, but this for me is a little makeup bag. <laughs> that was one of the things I got missing on my in our Vegas bags, my makeup bag. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not, I already replaced that, but. Yeah. That can just be an extra in case it happens again. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what are the chances? Huh. That would be sad. Uh, this Pottery Barn. New? In? Yeah. What? Sh wow. Sherba Sham. I don't know. What it's that a Sherba Sham? <laughs> just like a pillowcase, <laughs> I guess. I'm assuming. So, yeah. I don't know what that's going to go for, but it's new tag pottery barn. Pottery barn, barn yeah. <laughs> at the bins. Yeah. So this is cool, but it has uh, some stains, and I don't know if I can get them out, but I'll, I'll try. So this is Polo Ralph Lauren. I think it's vintage. It says USA made. It's 100% cotton. Um, yeah, it's just like a cool plaid polo. But, like, yeah, yeah there like is someone some, ran over it <laughs> with the cart again. Some dirt. So that's what you think happened. Yeah. The bins. It's, it's it probably stuff. fell on the floor, and, like, the big bin yeah. got ran it over or something. You know, it's less than a pound, so it's, you know, maybe a dollar fifty most I paid to take yeah. a chance. I mean, if this, if I can get that out, I think this is a $30 polo, so. Oh. Took a chance. What is this? I, was, I thought this was cool. This is like vintage Abercrombie. I think it's vintage. This is made in Korea. I feel like Korea and USA made stuff is like the vintage hmm. stuff. So this needs a wash, but yeah, cool old vest. I didn't look up comps, but some old Abercrombie stuff does pretty well. How old is Abercrombie? I, when you say vintage, I feel like I don't have my it was popular when you know, like yeah, when we were like high school vintage. and stuff. But that was like twenty years ago, so that is technically vintage, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Make and me which feel it had old. Already been at least around a while before that, right? Maybe. Not. I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like it's actually pretty old, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Our kiddos are doing stuff like that. Yeah, they're just buying downstairs. <laughs> All right, this is a Columbia full zip fleece. Just needs a wash, but. I like that side yeah, detail. Women's XL, probably at least 20 bucks out of that. This. Well, these are like just some Levi's corduroy red pants, which normally like colored pants. Yeah. I would normally pass on, but I just have a thing for corduroy. So I was like, let me look them up. I just like eBay. Levi's red corduroy pants. Hmm. And the seller was actually pretty good on that, so I was like, I'll take a chance. Hmm. Ben's pricing. Now, does the white tag signify anything I don't, special? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, let me know. If anybody knows, <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, but yeah. Just, it stands out on the red, for sure. Yeah, like, I know last time I sold a pair of navy corduroy Levi's, they sold really fast. But okay. I don't know. I think people like corduroy. 
this might not come clean enough but it's not that it's dirty it's just like super fuzzy where like this is hard stuff to get off yeah but it's so what is it Ugg? okay robe yeah like a bathrobe kind of thing yeah so Ooh. i don't know it's nice some winter it still has, it has the belt that's good yeah so i'm gonna wash it see what happens i'm sure i can get at least 20 bucks even if it has all the fuzzies on there still yeah so Um, Kristen gave me this. It's a Vince sweater. I just noticed I need to wash it, I think. It's so hard to tell. And I can't tell if it's just like the knit. Mm. It's kind of like different colors. I don't know. It doesn't have the materials. <laughs> so I don't know what the washing instructions are. So I might ruin that if I wash it. <laughs> it needs a wash, so I'm gonna wash it and see what happens. Could just be garbage, but that's okay. Uh, this is just a cute little vintage dress. I feel like these little vintage dresses are usually an easy $20 at the very least. Some of these can go for hundreds of dollars. Hmm. Uh, this is just the brand Hugs and Kisses. But yeah, just like USA made vintage little frilly dresses like this. If you find one, just, dress. yeah, just look it up on eBay. I mean, yeah, literally some of them go for like two, three hundred dollars. So. I are you are you up. thinking to you're not thinking that no, for that I one? No, I looked right? that one up and it was more like twenty to thirty. Okay, so. yeah. Fine with me. <laughs> I might keep this too. It's just a Knox Rose with Target sweater, but I really like that color. Alright, oh this was my best one. I need that one. Save the best for last. <laughs> this is cute. This is an Abercrombie newer. Just like a nice little fleece. Really good shape. Couple fuzzies. But yeah. It's cute. It's, cute. it's so cute. It's so cute. I was like, it's a fuzzy here. It's so soft. I mean, it looks like it hasn't been washed yet. You know, fleece gets kind of matted after it gets yeah. washed. I mean, this looks like it's in great shape. That looks like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I got the kids some bath bombs. I always find something for the kids when I go there. What'd you find for me? Um, this purse. <laughs> <laughs> No Nintendo uh, nope. game case or nothing? <laughs> no, nope. you can okay. have this jacket if you want. <laughs> Thanks you know, anyway. <laughs> I know you love to be so warm. <laughs> not really. <laughs> like, you can't ever like wear anything like long sleeves or yeah. stuff very much. So this was like in the first bin I looked in when I got there and it was probably way picked over. But like if the purse was in this, I've never heard of this brand, Henry Bendel or something like that. Okay, H-E-N-R-I. Yeah, so I was like, okay, what's well, a purse? I don't really like purses. I don't know anything about them. You know, it felt like real leather. So I'm like looking in there, making sure nobody left money. It was <laughs> nice to find money at the bins. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, it's in good shape. No, there was no money, but then I noticed in here, it just said like made in, like, you know how like Dooney and Bork and stuff, or however you say that, like has a little thing and it's all fancy. So I was like, oh, that looks like a nice tag. It just says made in China on that tag, so like, that can't be anything, right? <laughs> but I'm like, well, it has a dust bag. Let me just look it up on eBay. What's there to lose? This might go for like 50 to $70. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've never heard of the brand, but the sell-through was decent. Yeah, not the bins. I mean, that's the perfect place to yeah. try new things, you know? You so, get get the, the price point is so low. It so. just seems like it's so small. Like, <laughs> it's not a crossbody, I guess. I don't know. Do people carry it like this? This is why I don't use purses, guys. I don't know. So, I don't know. Let me know if you sold this brand. I, I probably need to look up some of the sold and see. Yeah. If they have the same stuff on the insides or whatever. But yeah, I figured I'd take a chance on that. This was the best find. I already shared out my Instagram that day. I don't know why I knew about this brand, but uh, I've heard about it from somewhere. Oh, it's a Rab. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you say it. Rab? But yeah, it's Rab. like a UK brand. Um, this is a really nice down jacket. I guess here's a better logo on it, huh? Is that like a feather? Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that just showing that's down? Probably. This is called the Kinder Smock Jacket. Yeah, so it says wrap down equipment. Oh, it's got Vertex Quantum. <laughs> Sounds crazy expensive. No. <laughs> hydrophobic down. Ooh, hydrophobic down. It means what, water? Uh, it's like water resistant. Yeah, hydrophobic <laughs> is, it repels water. Yeah. 
which I'm pretty sure feathers <laughs> are pretty hydrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> so it might just be like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this, you know, the comps, I mean, it's hard to tell. So like most of the ones that had sold on eBay were sold from the UK, it seemed like. So like I couldn't really tell if the price was in US oh, dollars yeah, and stuff euros like that. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so there also wasn't a ton of this particular one. Like, you can tell it's not like a full zip. It's kind of like a pullover. Yeah. So, yeah, the Kinder Smock, there wasn't a ton listed or sold in this model. I want to say I can get, like, 150 150 for this. Wow. I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> I, I think I can. So we'll see. This is something that we'll probably, we'll list, but you probably won't take any little offers. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Especially really off-season, right? Cause so. you got you got it so low. We can we can let it sit a little while. So I'm excited about that though. I I mean it's one of the bands I've been looking out for. Yeah. Um, it rolled out in one of the new bands that I got to pick through. So yeah. Well, I just saw it. It was upside down like this, but I was like, that looks like a nice down jacket. Yeah. Let me grab it. <laughs> got lucky. So. Got lucky, or you knew what to look out for. I mean, I know that down jackets or something. So <laughs> at first, I didn't see the brand or anything. You know. Awesome. No, I think I'm surprised. That is a lot of great stuff. Like we never really find that much good stuff at a bins. Yeah, so for around seventy bucks, yeah, that jacket covers everything. Plus, for sure, I mean, I'll definitely get at least seventy. So sweet. We got the booties, the pottery barn thing. Yeah, I think this is several hundred dollars worth of goods. several. <laughs> I'll give you a pass. <laughs> it's fine that you missed the live, but you can't miss next week. Right? Nope. <laughs> we'll be live next week, next Thursday, guys. I guess it would be this Thursday because I think this video is coming out Monday. So the 11th, I'm looking at the calendar. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that's going to be it. Reese. Oh, you are old. Yeah. So he just tried jumping up. I took him for a ride the other day and he, I have a, a Nissan truck and he tried to jump up in it. And Reese, no, stay. He's been kind of limping around since he missed that jump. Reese. Not, not jump up. <laughs> Reese. You're a good boy. <laughs> He's like starting to feel his age. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Yep. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.